Okay, so my audio works supposedly now. Like, I literally every single time, I don't know, I'm going to have to use a new program or something. It's spastic as fuck. So, anyway, now, what was I trying to say? So, <laughs> change my name again. Thanks, Ricky, my brother. Beaten cancer. Yep. Uh, this whole ordeal has made me think that cancer's a joke, but steroids, steroids saved my brain from hemorrhaging. Been on 16 milligrams of dexamethasone for the whole time, which they've been saying is bad, really bad for me. But um, to my mate braids going on about how the anger's all me. Yeah, yeah, the anger's all me. Yes, it is. The roids don't don't help at all. But yeah, the anger's all me. I'm on the pension for bipolar and PTSD for school bullying. You, you know this. So I, I don't know where your comments were even going about that. By the way, I meant to say this to you, but fucking yeah, I'm angry. I've always been angry. How many people know me and know that when I'm angry just to stay the fuck away from me because I'm explosive and stuff. So I, I don't know if you, you like memeing me about, oh, it's not the steroids you're that angry. It's you, yeah, it's me. But, uh, but this video is about the fact that I start my chemo tomorrow and my gamma knife operation is on the 26th, 26th. 24th, I get the gimp mask made to hold my head there uh, so it doesn't move while they do that fancy gamma knife operation, laser operations. I linked a video about that because the video was so cool, sci 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 scientific, science fiction looking, you know, Star Wars fucking laser machine, which has a 90% success rate. So they're full confident that. You know, it'll just kill all the, the seven, five to seven cancer tumors that are in my brain. I'm over the moon. Uh, yeah, I had a dream. I had two dreams yesterday. I don't know if I recorded a video about this, but one of them I was abusing uh, Nintendo because the uh, 64 controls they sell for the Switch Online are constantly sold out and scalping on eBay for like $200 each and stuff. So like when I woke up, I was like, I know I had a dream because I was yelling at Nintendo. But I had a second dream where they the doctors told me that there was nothing they could do. And like, that's why I made the video saying I was scared yesterday. Like, been a long time since I'm scared of anything. But because of the dream I woke up, I fucking went to Peter Mac yesterday like scared and worried and that they were going to say, yeah, there's, there's nothing they could do. But I've walked in and the two two radiologists oncologists whatever they were Matt and no, I can't remember the other one Andrew I think but they were they were just like yeah no we've got this machine gamma knife like I, I gotta watch through the video because I swear that they named it something else some claw machine I've been saying but but it's a gamma knife so but yeah that's the 26th so I'm more concerned about what's in my head so yeah the, the gamma knife will be good get it out of my head kill the tumors there and then I'll feel a bit more normal things like being able to drive and stuff you know will be back on the table and yeah the chemo though st starts tomorrow they give me three different medications but I'm not really worried about that except losing my hair which they said is not really a thing any like it is but only for some people um, but I should be good so I just got to worry about nausea and stuff like that which I don't, I don't give a shit about like I will deal with that by fucking force feeding myself more food. I don't care. Like, like I said in the video, I woke up today with like my knees felt like I literally someone had walked in my house and baseball batted my kneecaps. Um, I've been in that kind of severe pain for a long time. It makes me feel for braids, uh, his feet and stuff. Like, because like I've literally was like I've I've had seven or ten mils of morphine today. Like. Um, of, of liquid morphine. I went and got syringes this like this morning, or a syringe or three pack. But um, so like because I've got one morphine ampule left, and I was I was gonna I was gonna take that through like IV because I was in that much pain for my knees. Like I mean, I was crying. I, I have no idea why. I think it's because I, I just think it's because I actually got some stress relief yesterday with the, all the news about the uh, about the gamma knife and how treatable it is. <laughs> I'm walking around like a dead man for the last six weeks, like listening to the Zen Chow guy, which I'm going to sue 
because there's no fucking way in hell he should have told me that I had three weeks to live. I've been now told by like every single radiologist and oncologist that was completely, completely fucked up. Um, especially after just having one MRI or one CT scan and he walks in telling me I've got three weeks to live. Like my whole life completely changed. I could, and I could, I'm lucky that I'm, I'm, I was restrained by myself like I've been told by all, them all because you don't you don't in his position walk into somebody and just say yeah you've got three weeks to live by the way <laughs> so yeah I'm going to sue the guy um, so I hope you're watching this Zen Chow because you're fucked I'm going to make sure you're fucked I'm going to make sure that you wish you never even fucking heard of med school you fucking piece of shit uh, but but yeah so the Gamma Knife on the 26th will hopefully f completely destroy all the cancer in my brain. Start the chemo tomorrow, and I've got, there's like 31 sessions lined up over the next two years, but it, it's a matter of how I react to it. So, yeah, I'm going, you know, just a few sessions of chemo, and it'll kill it, and, you know, I'll be good because I'm, I'm a boss or something. I'm bulletproof, invincible. God, God, God must love me, whichever God it is. I will never not be spiritual again. Like, I've, I've been spiritual my whole life, so I don't know who it is or what it is, but either he loves me or he doesn't want me up there for shit. Because <laughs> this is like the fourth time that I've been, well, like, I drowned once, I got tomahawked and died, then there's this whole cancer bullshit. Um, I had a fucking nine iron sticking out of my head when I was nine years old by my mate playing helicopters. That was, there was blood fucking so everywhere. I should have had full brain damage from that. Like, either God loves me or he's fucking scared to have me up there. So, whichever one it is, I'll take. Maybe I'm half a cat. I've only got like, you know, four or five lives left. But, hey, you know, being this fucked this many times and still being here is great. Uh, in, in, the, in the audio, the long one, it's kind of hard to fucking listen to because it's so long and stuff. But, but even he says, like, the damage that's in my brain is like pretty fucking not much especially for what's what I've been through with the whole like the incidents in my life like my brain keeps just seeming to remake its neural pathways back to itself so one thing I can't wait for is after this uh, gamma knife I'm going to be doing another IQ test like a proper one again see if I'm, my brain's back because it feels like it's back especially now that I've not, not smoking weed I'm not going to tell anyone what to do with the weed either but like <laughs> weed and nicotine are just fucking filthy and I used weed to hide from myself and that should say enough like you shouldn't be hiding from yourself it's this is just sounds spastic as I say it like but I was hiding from my stuttering I was hiding from my IQ I was hiding from a lot of things that I was never even hiding from um, I was running running away from things that about myself that I actually love like, I love my IQ, I love my intelligence, I love my imagination, I love my helpful nature, like, I don't know what the weed was doing, except costing me money, costing me my health, and then there's the nicotine, which is just even worse, like, I've literally saved, according to the app Smoke Free, like, over $1,000, I think over twelve or $1,400 just on cigarettes in, since I quit smoking six weeks ago. Like, that should just be enough to tell people, like, what a waste of fucking money. And you're just giving it to the government to do nothing with. They just, what, stick it in their own pockets, fucking fluff themselves up the ass with it. Like, and politics, eh? Ah, oh, you fucking wait now. You wait, politics. You've, you've, you, you thought there's a bunch of people like me. And by the time of the next election, I'm going to make sure that we're all properly awake and doing something about you scumbag government pieces of shit like all you've, all you've done over the last 12-15 years is poison and kill your own population and you're treasonous and you're going to suffer for it and if you were trying to kill me with MM wave technology or 5G or whatever and it's not just some cancer you fucking failed and if you've just turned it off and you're going to turn it go ahead I'd hurry the fuck up because you are going to suffer when I'm better I'm going to make sure of it. It's my goal is to make the government fucking suffer now. Because you're a shit. You're a fucking shit. I should be running the country. You're a fucking retarded, treasonous, traitorous fucks. And I'm going to make you pay for it in some way, shape or form. 
just like I beat this shit, just like I beat everything in my life that I've tried to. And if you did do it, you've made me straight and it's the worst thing you could have possibly done. So you're the one that you, the government's the one that literally made me fucking decide to become a bonghead and to hide from myself because of my IQ and my intelligence and the way that, the way that your system treated me my whole life, the reason you put me on the pension, the reason you gave me a house, like to, to, to make sure that, you know, just didn't fully fuck my whole life up, tried to do something. But, you know, now, now I'm better or I'm going to be in a couple of months. I'm going to be next week after the gamma knife therapy. My brain will be back, back at its 145 plus IQ. You're so fucked with the wrong person and I'm going to make you suffer for it. The government and Jen, Jin Chow, Jin Chow, telling me I've got three weeks to live. Like, I don't know. This is the third time I've recorded this video because the first two times uh, my audio didn't work because, I don't know, the camo app or something, I've got to use something better. But, but to everybody that's been here for me, like, to talk to, to like the videos, to comment, to fucking bounce things off, like, everybody, I love you all so much. I cannot be more grateful that I've had all of you to talk to, all of you to do all this, to help me. I hope I've helped you with the videos. I hope that you all understand that Mind Over Matter is is a massive, massive part of everything. If you believe something, you will you 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 have the best chance of success. If you don't believe in it, then you you're not helping yourself. Whatever whatever that is, like I, it's, it goes to everything. When it comes to spirituality, I strongly suggest that people take a look at things from a different perspective because I, I've i always believed in spirituality. Like like I meant mean about the, the cat story, like I, I didn't even know if that was real or if I'd made that up to, as like a, you know, like a, something to fall back on to make myself believe in spirituality. But my auntie sent photos, I don't know if I posted it. Um, I'll post it in like the community tab, but she's young there, so I'll just post my part of it. But with my black cat that I didn't know was a real story that was. So, like, if I can hold on to a story from the time I was three years old, that's got to say enough about the human brain. Like, and I hope everybody understands that your brain is the most powerful part in you, and you've got to keep it healthy which is that goes down to the cigarettes and nicotine poisoning it. Like I'm more upset that I poisoned my brain than I have my lungs. So at least years, like 25 plus years of smoking weed and tobacco, trying to hurt myself and whether or not I knew it, but I did like trying to escape from here for some reason. I don't want to escape from here anymore. I'm so happy that I got cancer. I'm so happy that I've quit and I'm in a new, whole different mindset. Like I am fucking over the goddamn moon. Like this is, this is our planet as humans. And if we're all the people that are like, we're, we're some toxic poisonous, like, like you just, you just need to wake up to yourselves. Like maybe humanity, humanity isn't a bad place at the moment. Like I'll admit that I've said every single day, but we have a future because we're human and we will, we will get past all this, all this, treason basically and lies that exist in the world pedophilia and and weirdos and shit like that that everyone's kind of waking up to finally like there's the world's broken but together we can fix it so I hope everybody gets on the same page about that this video has gone into a lot of things it was just supposed to be about my chemo and stuff but I'm like I'm happy as like Cancer is a joke to me. It's a joke. Zen's a joke more so. Like obviously, cancer's deadly, but that's what I mean. We can like with like this gamma knife machine. Like that's technology from the future. You know that's, that's going to save me. And I'm sure that in another you know couple of years there'll be more technology, more technology, more technology, and cancer will be a joke to everybody. Is it's I didn't realize till I got it myself how bad and like ferocious it is in society. Like. You know, like my dad's like got had prostate cancer. My grandpa died of it too. But it was like, oh, yeah, everyone just gets cancer, whatever. Like it's bad, uh, but there's a lot of focus on it. So humans and technology and fixing each other and you know, like 
We are we are a fucking an amazing species. Anyone that says different, you need to get your head checked. Like we we're, we're the ones that yeah we we've, we've extinct a lot of things, but we we can bring them back. We have like that that doesn't make it any better. Don't like I'm not trying to oh you know we can kill things and bring it back. That's obviously that's not the way we want to go. But learning curves are learning curves. You know like we've come so far in the last five hundred years. We've so, we've come so far in the last hundred years. So embracing what is good and you know kicking the shit out is is what humanity is all about people need to maybe take a bit of a breather on trying to push everything in like from the 2020s onwards it's been like three years and everyone seems to just push their opinions and push their beliefs on everybody i'm kind of trying to do it now with the weed and the the self-love but but like like pushing yeah well I'm, I'm not gonna try and i'm not trying to cause arguments with this video but um just more love more peace more harmony more respect more caring for other people's thoughts opinions and and less less dumbness would, would help it was one thing i definitely noticed in the last six weeks is it's like along with me getting diagnosed with a terminal illness like it's like the whole world turned into bots and like broken bots it's like it's like, it, it's like I wasn't supposed to even get a diagnosis like that. It's like somebody flicked a switch and everything just broke six weeks ago. But I'm fixed. Or I'm going to be fixed. So hopefully, it, you know, the reset button's been knocked back or something. But, but yeah, I'll end this with like, thank you to everybody. Uh, I'm more, once again, more grateful for everybody's support, everybody's likes, everybody's subs, everybody's comments like getting to bounce it off people um online it's it's been great let alone the the support i've had offline like in real life like it's amazing i hope it doesn't end i like i love seeing all my family and stuff again um yeah uh, like and to everybody that's been online that i've added and people i haven't hadn't spoke to in years stuff like that like I hope that that this has been not a wake up or anything like that but like it's been educational enough to know that you know me of all people like you know got very worried been very scared and you've all been there to help me and I honestly wouldn't have expected 90% of the people that have given me support and care and and shown you know shown me that I'm oh, that I'm you know worth something you know like I, I I'm sure that you all knew that I like kind of walked around like with the opposite mentality in my head with a massive wall up all the time um, since I was a kid especially since I started hanging around Knox uh, but like I'll never like yeah I love everyone I kind of know what to say like except for that thank you thank you more than anything that I could possibly word or describe like if I if I become Elon Musk's best mate you know and I'm rich I'll be buying everyone a house you know like it's like it'll end up a massive loot cult I don't think anybody would like that I'd like it but thank you this is like a 20 minute video now so I don't expect anyone to even get anywhere near this point in the video but yep TikTok generation, like I said in a short, um, you only got space for like minutes and shit for some reason, but, but I hope everyone has a great night, have a drink for me, as I'm not supposed to really anymore, they, they don't really want me to, because they want my immune system being at 100%, which is fair, but yeah, catch the next video because I'm not going to be stopping doing this content creation now I'm just going to do it better better for everybody better for me